Hi, welcome to Home Farm. Today we've got a really exciting announcement to make and it's something that's hopefully going to help all of you. It's a community called Renewable Heating Hub. So this is basically episode eight and I can't believe that we've got even got to episode yeah. eight. Uh, we've really enjoyed doing these episodes and I think that we will continue to do them. The more episodes we're doing, the more questions we're getting, the more engagement we're getting. We're actually seeing that people are now starting to speak to each other as well as speaking to us uh -huh. in the comments section. And because of the format of uh, the way that the comments work, uh, they tend to get lost and it's very difficult to sometimes find them. And it's a shame because there's a lot of really good information that people have imparted uh, with, with regards to their own experiences or maybe the experts that have actually commented on those. Yeah, absolutely. We've started to see that there's little um, gems of, of yeah. really good information where somebody asks a question, somebody responds, and then the comments keep piling up on top of and that. And there's hundreds of them and it's really difficult to sift through them to find, the, uh, to find that information. And as we know, which is why we started these episodes to begin with, we wanted to share our knowledge and experience of what we were experiencing mm. here at Home Farm because we just really could find that online no. and we weren't able to kind of get that information ourselves. So because it's been such an organic um, process, if you like, we've kind of decided that actually what we need is maybe an online space where we can all go and we can get some really valuable expert knowledge and information and share each other's experiences, get some of information on the latest news yeah. and technology and have a dedicated website just for this topic. Yeah. So that's how we came up with the idea to launch this website called Renewable Heating Hub. So in addition to all the stuff that you've mentioned, uh, one of the benefits of this new website is going to be that people can share their personal perspectives of their own central heating systems or air source heat pumps or whatever it is that's renewable related. Mm -hmm. uh, in our case, we've always shared our experiences, uh, but this is also a great opportunity for people to contribute uh, to actually uh, supply their own reviews or to participate on the forums. Yes, the website, when you come to the website, you'll have a home page and yeah. we'll have articles and the articles might be written um, either by experts mm -hmm. who are um, experts in their field, maybe talking about their industry or mm -hmm. their, their actual product uh, line. Yeah. And then we're also gonna have um, people that are, as you said, people like us that just write mm -hmm. an article about their experience or the challenges that they're facing. Uh -huh. Then we're also gonna have a Q&A, so um, kind of typical frequently yeah. asked questions and answers. Um, and again, that's something that we've just kind of generated from the questions that we've been getting a lot of, the repetitive questions, yeah. that we know that people really need that information to. But if you guys think of a question that you actually have or you have heard of a regular and mm -hmm. you think that needs answering quite frequently, again, please submit that because we can add that to our Q&A section. Definitely. And then we'll also have um, reviews, product reviews, which is basically um, going to be written by us and the companies. And by people. Uh, so we've had people that have actually written their own uh, air source heat pump reviews to us. We'll help you and guide you as to how those uh, reviews need to be structured. Yeah, homeowners. Uh, homeowners. Uh, and not only is it focusing on air source heat pumps, but we've had people that have written reviews about battery storage, about their solar PV. So basically everything that it falls into the renewable heating uh, category can get covered there. Because we are also, um Obviously, we have our experiences air source and solar. That's typically kind yeah. of the content that we know that we can start with by generating mm -hmm. um, to put onto the website. But we don't, for example, have wind power. We yeah. don't have ground source. So if you guys have got wind power or you've got ground source or any other renewable um, heating yeah. or power, really, and you want to write about it or you want to contribute or you want to highlight it or you want to just say to us, guys, can you do something? And we'll reach out to those experts and get somebody to write about those Definitely. things then please let us know because um, you know we're kind of coming at it with only our information of our mm -hmm. knowledge but again we kind of really want this to be a community experience we want everybody to kind of Definitely. be involved um, so that you know everybody feels like um, it's something that's useful and beneficial to them mm -hmm. I mean we've even had one review from one of our followers that's written about their open loop water system which is completely crazy it's something that he formulated from scratch he's an engineer by trade uh, where he had a brook or a river that was running down. He's managed to redivert that water into their house. Fascinating stuff. 
so that's the kind of stuff that we want to start carrying a lot more of yeah. uh, on the website. Obviously, we, we do need to have, um, you know, kind of your, your manufactured big product yeah. items because a lot of us, that's what we're doing. We're going and buying that. But we really want to be able to highlight kind of innovative, quirky yeah, things that okay. people are doing off the grid as well um, that, that they've made completely themselves. They've basically invented things. Mm -hmm. um, and we really want to give them a platform and a space that we can hear their stories and see what they're yeah. doing because A, it's enlightening, B, it's educational, and it, it's, it's really fun to see yeah. what else is out there other than your typical kind of box store kind of mm. machinery that you can go out and purchase. And we've been asked so many times about our opinion on like the Mitsubishi EcoDad or the yeah. Daikin machines or the Grant machines. It's something that we can't obviously share. Yeah. But there are scores of people across the UK that have got these machines and we've already started posting some of those reviews. And it's really interesting just to be able to compare how people's homes are being heated by these machines. and. It's, it, it, it allows you to get insights with regards to, well, I've got a bungalow or I've got a semi-detached house and this is the machine that they've put in and it's heating their house. It just gives you and answers those questions that you may potentially have. We want to be able to share our experience as much as possible yeah. and um, answer as many questions as possible and kind of have all that interaction. But we can only kind of really do that from the perspective of the fact that we're using a global energy yeah. Carnarvon um, air source machine. Mm. So we kind of also want to be able to hear from those people that are using yeah. Mitsubishi's, the Hitachi's, the, all the LG's, or all the different brands that are out there and see, okay, what are they, what are their experience? What are, what are the challenges that they're having? Um, and I think that that's going to be really valuable. Mm -hmm. It's also been really interesting because one of our followers has actually posted a review of the same air source heat pump we've got. And it's been really interesting to draw the parallels. They're in a completely different house. They're in Oxford somewhere. Uh, very uh, open to the elements and their pump seems to perform very similar to ours in a completely different style of house. Wow. So again, it's quite interesting to draw those parallels and I'm sure that you know if you've got a Mitsubishi or, or considering putting in a certain brand, uh, it should be able to answer a lot of those questions. So we also want to use Renewable Heating Hub as a space where we can also talk or read about the latest conversations that are happening in this space. So for example, um, one of the things that we were discussing uh, with somebody who's an expert in this field is the topic of Green uh, House Grant mm -hmm. and what it means for them and what their opinion is on um, about it in their industry yeah. and how they feel it's actually not helping their industry. They actually feel it's having a very negative effect on their industry and they actually are not not into it at all they don't find it helpful at all they don't think it's helpful for the industry and they don't think it's very helpful for the homeowners so we kind of want to start to delve into kind of those kind of topics of conversations and start to see both sides of mm -hmm. the story and be able to have a space where we can actually all make up our own minds as to what we think about these these subjects. And again, we've had articles that have been contributed about homeowners that have actually done the greenhouse grants or got their funding through that. And it's been mixed experiences again. So it's just really interesting to see how certain people are all for it and others that have had negative experiences. But the ones that have had negative experience have actually explained why that's happened. Yeah. So again, that can just be a point. So if you do want to pursue that kind of form of grant uh, or funding, yeah. uh, you do have the information to, to see whether you can have a positive outcome. So because of the comments that we get below and we see this kind of interaction between us and the people that are commenting, you guys, and then yeah. each other, we wanted to, to have uh, kind of replicate that onto the website. Yeah. So we created a forum on the website so that people can go on and they can ask a question and they can basically start like a chat about that yeah. question. Um, and we want to keep that a really safe space, really positive. Yeah. Um, we want everybody to feel comfortable asking every kind of question uh -huh. um, that's um, related to renewable heating um, and feel that they can approach people and get um, advice and opinions in a really nice supportive way. And the structure of the forums just makes it very conducive to be able to answer questions, find information quickly and easily as opposed to the comments that we mentioned earlier. Yeah. And to address your previous points, we've also already appointed moderators to make it a safe space. Yes. Uh, so there won't be any abuse, there won't be any bullying, there won't be anything that you 
free to ask the questions that you want yes. uh, and do so safely yeah. and knowing that you're going to get the best possible advice in return. Yeah, I think that we all have to, you know, we all have to understand that everybody's going to have a different opinion and uh, that's okay. There's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with having different opinions, yeah. you know, and I think that we want to be able to give people that space of being able to express their opinion that, look, I prefer air source, I prefer, mm. you know, um, wind, I prefer this, I prefer that. And that, that's absolutely fine. We're all homeowners and we're all allowed to, to make our own decisions about our own homes and I think that having healthy debates healthy respectful debates um, that are you know really positive mm -hmm. I think is really we're going to encourage that but as Mars said we absolutely will not tolerate no. any kind of bullying or nastiness or uh, personal attacks or if it starts to get um, out of control and just negative and, and destructive and um, not constructive uh, we will step in and Definitely. we will make sure that that is stopped immediately so you know please if you ever see that or experience that please let us know um, but hopefully our moderators will be there yeah. to make sure that um, the conversations all remain really constructive and helpful definitely so if you're a homeowner or in the industry please by all means reach out and contact us there is a contact us form on the website simply fill that in and you know share the information with us that you want and we will try and reply to that as quickly as we possibly can yeah. uh, if you don't want to contribute and write the forums are available uh, you simply go to the forum link we'll put in the description below okay. uh, sign up uh, username password the usual uh, and you'll get access to the forums so there is quite a specific um, terms and conditions and mm -hmm. use of our forum. Um, obviously, we have just touched on, you know, zero bullying and abuse, um, being really respectful and polite to mm -hmm. people. Um, but there is also, you know, things like, for example, do not share bank details. Yeah. This is not a trade forum. You're not supposed to purchase anything through yeah. here, whether it's a service or a product. And nobody should be soliciting you and, and trying yeah. to sell you anything. Um, so, you know, they, these are just conversational forums. So, you know, we will um, kind of step in and stop that so if you see anything or anybody asks you for those kind of things or you feel like they're trying to sell you anything please let us know we'll um, get that removed um, but yeah it's just kind of a it's a space to just talk and yeah. ask questions and get people's opinions and just know that you, you know if you want to get expert advice that's fine there might be somebody on there that is saying that i'm an expert mm -hmm. and gives you advice but please double check the Always. advice you're getting and please make sure that you know you do get a, a professional expert that you physically met and that you know has got the credentials and you has come into your home and checked your home and seen the specifics of the, what you have in your home and you know please just keep that in mind that this is just a forum to to discuss and to kind of get Ex thoughts going. And exchange ideas. Yeah. Uh, and just to reiterate your point, please do not share bank details, do not disclose your physical address no. or any other personal information. Uh, just, just the ideas, just the conversations, that's all. So any of the advice or comments that you see on the site, uh, please ensure before you actually try and implement any of those. Yeah, if you have any work carried out, please yeah. make sure you verify it. Um, you know, in this instance, I would double, triple check, yeah. you know, with different um, third parties. So, you know, whatever you've read on the website, you know, take that, hopefully use it. But before you implement it or spend any money doing anything or changing anything yeah. in your property, please make sure that you get a qualified expert out to your property mm -hmm. to go into your property and see exactly what your situation and your equipment is um, and what your property is has set up for and i think the information should be used as guidance more than anything else yes because it can just help you steer your conversation with the installer or the professional that's coming out yeah it'll help you ask the right questions uh, but they will be able to impart the expert knowledge as to with regards to what uh, is appropriate what for is you. appropriate and what will work in your property yeah just keep in mind that this is a community space so you know it is homeowners it is people like us it is you guys it is mm -hmm. um tradesmen it is people that maybe work for an air source company or a renewable heating company. there's a whole mix of everybody mm -hmm. that's going to be on the website so please you know just keep that in mind that not all advice is expert yeah. some of it is just talking about things some of it is uh, um, an opinion mm 
some of it is um, just guidance so you know just you know just keep in mind that that's kind of what the space mm -hmm. is for and you know just keep verifying everything that you read or you mm. see so we really hope that you'll head over to renewable heating hub and um, we'll as we said we'll keep doing our air source um, episodes here mm -hmm. on uh, my home farm channel we're not going to be setting up a youtube channel for renewable heating hub yet um, we haven't really seen the need for it but if we start to get um, people that you know you you guys start asking for us to start doing videos maybe video interviews with um, experts or um, you know case studies or anything then by all means let us know that you would like to see that and maybe we can do that in the future mm -hmm. at the moment we're just going to keep it to the website um, and if you if there's anything that you feel is missing from the website or you want on the website yeah. um, then please let us know we are always fully open to um, organically growing this website to make it you know what is most useful for you mm -hmm. what you use the most what you find the most interesting and um, helps you guys out the most yeah. so um, please you know keep your engagement coming and you know kind of go over there and feel free to use the forums or comment on articles or you know ask questions and let us post those questions so you know hopefully it becomes um, a really good handy community Definitely. tool so we provided the links in the description below to make it easy just click on those and it'll get sent through yeah. we have got a big update coming up with regards to our own air source heat pump in the next couple of weeks yes. there's been some progress with regards to some of the issues that we've been facing yes uh, so hopefully we'll be able to post that in the probably about two months time that's gonna be very exciting yeah. so we've got some pretty major uh, changes or mm -hmm. upgrades or things that are happening um, that hopefully will allow us to kind of get over the issues that we yeah. had in winter. We experienced quite a lot of different issues yeah. over this winter um, and I had a lot of downtime with our air source um, heating. Mm -hmm. So we're really hoping that the changes that we're going to be implementing over the next couple of months is going to really be a big I overhaul so. yeah, so. um, for the system and that will hopefully take us into this winter <laughs> being rock solid. Yeah. I mean, I think that might be a hopeful to say that well i think we'll be in a better position than we were this winter yeah so that's that's the that's the plus side of that yeah we can't it certainly can't hopefully do us any <laughs> harm so hopefully it's going to be do us a lot of good so we are really excited to share that and we are going to be you know, filming that um, as it happens yeah. so that we can then sit down with you and do an, another episode and share all of what has happened um, and what the outcome is and yeah. So how's... if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please do so now so that you don't miss out on that one. Yeah. Uh, so thanks for watching this video and uh, we'll see you on our next one. Yeah, See, uh, we'll see you over at Renewable Heating Hub. Yeah, exactly. Yay. Head on over. Bye. Oh, stay warm, stay safe. <laughs> <laughs>